What if Goku was born a legendary Super Saiyan? How would this impact Dragon Ball Z Part 9? If you're not a subscriber, what are you waiting for? Subscribe now and don't forget to click that bell that you'll be the first to know any new Dragon Ball Z discussion what if I make. Hey everybody, welcome back to this week's episode of Dragon Ball Z Discussion where we do a what if discussion on Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball Super and Dragon Ball GT. Previously, on What If Goku Was Born A Legendary Super Saiyan, we mentioned that Goku and the Z Fighters went and trained inside the hyperbolic time chamber, as they all got a huge boost to their power level and now they were ready to go and fight Cell at the Cell Game. Meanwhile, Cell went and reached perfect form and he has now hold a tournament called the Cell Game. The time has come for everyone to arrive there as Gohan insists on fighting Cell first. Goku allowed him as he went and fought Cell and from there he transformed to a Super Saiyan 2 overpowering Cell. Cell felt very weak and useless against Gohan as he saw none of his attack was working against Super Saiyan 2 Gohan and from there Gohan has went and punched Cell twice in the stomach as he went and threw up Android 18 and from there Gohan threw a Kamehameha wave killing Cell. Everyone went to celebrate with Gohan as he was now pronounced to be stronger than Goku and out of nowhere Cell has returned right back to earth and he went and killed Gohan with the finger beam. Seeing that his son died caused Goku to go and transform to his legendary Super Saiyan and he went and killed Cell as Goku now is very curious on how to use that power again and he went and trained for 7 years straight. Find out what happens inside this part. What if Goku was born a legendary Super Saiyan? Part 9 Seven years has passed since the Z Fighters went and fought the androids and Cell died by Goku's hand. Seven years of peace with no worries of whatsoever someone's gonna come and hurt Earth. It gave Goku and the Z Fighters a lot of time to go and train. Within that seven years, Radis, Bardock, Nappa, Vegeta and even Gohan has got a lot stronger. Gohan continued to get stronger with his father as he went and trained with him for 7 years and kept getting stronger. He did not pursue the way of going to school, he wanted to go and train and be with his father and get stronger. But during that time Gohan went and he met a girl named Videl as they fell in love with each other and now the time for those two to get married has happened. And Gohan is not the only one that's getting married. Turns out Gohan's uncle Radis has also found a woman and her name is Launch as those two fell in love with each other and those two got married as now they are expecting to have a child. Goku within that 7 years went and he met King Kai as King Kai called him to come to his planet and from there Goku uses instant transmission and once he got there he went and trained with King Kai as King Kai taught Goku the Kaioken technique and the spirit bomb. But seeing that the Goku is the legendary Super Saiyan wouldn't really give him a much help but he still taught Goku it anyway. Goku has now learned those two awesome techniques and from there Goku has had a new child and his name was Goten. Vegeta's son Trunks has gotten the same age as Goten as those two grew up and they became very close. Goku's power level after training in the 7 year gap came to be at 400 billion at normal base. And now they all decide to go and participate inside the World Martial Arts Tournament. Everyone was happy to see one another as they all had a nice reunion but the time for the tournament has started. The first round was Nappa vs Radis as he went and fought Nappa but from there Nappa tried to use his new attack but it didn't work on Radis as Radis went and knocked Nappa out and he won the first round. Bardock went and fought the second round but he lost by fighting Gohan as he looked at Gohan and said, looks like the time has come for you to beat your old man huh? <laughs> but yep, I am stronger. While everyone was enjoying their time in fighting, the next round was about to start which was featuring Goku vs Vegeta. Before the fight started, 
the Supreme Kai has come as he wanted to come and talk with Goku. The next round started with Goku versus Vegeta as Vegeta was very excited to fight Goku because he wanted to show his new powers since they didn't see each other for 7 years they're too busy training. Goku accepted Vegeta's challenge as he was excited to fight Vegeta too but then the Supreme Kai has come and interrupted their fight as he wanted to go and talk to Goku and told him about the dangers that lies ahead. Supreme Kai told him that Majin Buu will be resurrected if they continue to fight as they are using the energy here to steal it and resurrect Majin Buu and that if he's out, it will be the end of the earth. Just seeing how important this matter is, Goku decided to stop his fight with Vegeta and he told Supreme Kai that he will go and help him stop Majin Buu. Vegeta got mad and said, No way in hell Kakarot, you're going to avoid this fight? I waited 7 years of training just so I could show the world I'm stronger than you. I'm sure you are Vegeta, but don't you see this matter is more important than us two fighting? We will fight once when the battle comes to an end, I promise. But I need your help Vegeta, let's go and stop this Majin Buu. Very well then, I'm watching you Kakarot, hurry up! As Vegeta and Goku and the rest of the Z fighters went and helped Supreme Kai to stop Majin Buu. Everyone has arrived at the ship as they all went and infiltrated the ship. Gohan told Goku he'll take care of everything as he went and fought all the warriors out there and he beat every one of them including King Dubora. Nappa and Raditz were really impressed to see how powerful Gohan has gotten and then from there they went to look for where Majin Buu is. While searching for Majin Buu, Vegeta became impatient and he started to make a fuss about being here and that he wanted to fight Goku. Everyone then looked at Vegeta and told him to calm down as Nappa got mad and said what is wrong with you? This is not the time! Do you want our planet to die? To hell with this planet! I want to fight Kakura now! Everyone saw that Vegeta wasn't himself as he was getting really too excited and angry to fight with Goku. And from there, Babidi saw and he used that as his advantage to resurrect Majin Buu. Babidi went and used his magic on Vegeta as Vegeta couldn't control what was happening and from there he has transformed into Majin Vegeta making its parallel be at 600 billion. Vegeta then laughed and challenged Goku to fight him. As everyone tried to stop Goku from fighting Vegeta, but then Goku went and told him that this is something that we need to do, you guys go and find out how to stop Majin Buu. Goku then got angry at Vegeta and said, You forgot your place Vegeta? Hmm, I think you forgot yours Kakarot. I'm the prince of all Saiyan. I don't care. Whatever you could call yourself, I don't give a shit. It's sad, you call yourself the prince of all Saiyan, but yet you can never beat me in a battle. What was that? As Goku went and he charged at Vegeta and the battle began between Goku and Vegeta. Goku went and decked Vegeta very hard, but Vegeta laughed and he got right back up and punched Goku in the stomach. While they were fighting, everyone sensed a huge power level coming from the sky. As they saw that Boo's egg has been hatched and he was staring at them. Babidi saw and couldn't stop laughing as he ran towards Boo and told him to go and kill the rest of the Z fighters that are there. Boo went and flew to the Z fighters and he started to attack them. As Gohan went and he transformed to a Super Saiyan 2, everyone saw that and they all joined Gohan as Bardock, Raditz, Nappa all went and transformed into Super Saiyan 2 and they all went to attack Majin Buu. They all worked together as a team as they all went and non-stop attacked Majin Buu. He got very frustrated that he couldn't attack them back and from there Majin Buu went and screamed out of frustration. Buu couldn't help himself as he continued to scream out loud and from there he let out a black smoke and before they know it there was an evil Buu that came out. Majin Buu and the evil Buu looked at each other as Buu felt threatened and he went to use his turn to candy technique but evil Buu went to repel that attack and it hit Majin Buu and from there he went and ate Majin Buu. Once when he ate Majin Buu he absorbed him and he made his power level come to be at 30 trillion. As Super Buu went and overpowered all the Z fighters very easily. Goku and Vegeta would continue fighting but then when they sensed Super Buu's power level they had stopped fighting and Goku told Vegeta that they need to work together to beat Majin Buu and help the others. 
Vegeta agreed but then went and sucker punched Goku hard in the stomach as Goku was knocked out. As Vegeta said, it is time for me to get the glory not you. When you wake up Kakarot, all this will be over. Vegeta went to help the other to fight Super Buu but he found himself to be weak compared to Super Buu as Super Buu went and beat the shit out of all of them and from there he had a very weird idea. He decided to go and absorb all of them. Supreme Kai saw that Super Buu was going to absorb everyone and that he could only save one person. He chose to save Gohan as he went and took Gohan and, and went straight back to his planet. Super Buu then went and he absorbed Vegeta, Raditz, Nappa and Bardock as he went and made his power level come to be at 100 trillion. Buu then laughed and he felt like he was the strongest one in the universe as he went and started to attack anything that was around him. Kapito Kai saw Goku as he went and started to heal Goku. Goku then got up and he saw what happened and he got very mad that he couldn't save them. Majin Buu then looked at Goku as he said, Hmm, there's still one fighter left. Let's go kill him. Goku went and he transformed to a Super Saiyan 2. Due to the fact that Goku is a legendary Super Saiyan, his transformation gives him a higher boost compared to regular Saiyan as Goku's power level came to be at 30 trillion. Goku then went and punched Buu right in the face but it was too weak. Buu then went and started to beat the crap out of Goku as Goku couldn't land a single hit on him. Goku managed to free himself and he said, You're very strong Buu, no doubt about that, but you messed with the wrong Saiyan. And what you did to my family, I'll kill you! Hmm, is that so? You just took my line, Goku. I'll be the one to kill you, you pathetic Saiyan. And out of nowhere, Goku then went and let out a scream. After training for 7 years straight non-stop with very intense training, Goku has managed to do the impossible and he transformed himself into a Super Saiyan 3, making his power level come to be at 120 trillion. Majin Buu saw that and got very scared of Goku's power, but then he laughed as he calmed himself down and he saw that Goku only managed to make his hair longer, there's no difference in him. He then went to try to fight Goku, but Super Saiyan 3 Goku went and gave him the death stare and said, this is the power that goes beyond a Super Saiyan, or you can call this a Super Saiyan 3. Buu then went to attack Goku, but Goku dodged all of his attack and he decked Majin Buu very hard as Buu couldn't handle the hit. Goku went and started to beat the shit out of Buu as Buu went to throw an attack at Goku but Goku caught it with one hand and he crushed it like if it was nothing and said, you see Buu, you are too weak to fight me and now you will die. This can't be, I have five people's power inside me, you cannot even stand a chance against me, how are you this strong? Hmm, it's all about quality my friend, not quantity, as Goku went and started to non-stop hit Buu in the face. Buu saw that he couldn't touch Goku and from there he had an idea which was to absorb Goku. As Majin Buu went and released some of his body parts so he can go and absorb Goku and from there he said, you're very strong Goku but not so clever. As Buu went and surrounded Goku's body with his goo, Goku looked at it and said, this better work and from there he got absorbed by Majin Buu. Goku managed to go inside Majin Buu's stomach as he went and found where the rest of the Z fighters were and he freed him including Majin Buu. He freed Majin Buu too and he instant transmission out of Buu's stomach. Super Buu went to a transformation as he went and transformed back to his original form which was Kid Buu. Goku then went and powered up a Kamehameha wave.
and he killed Boo with it once and for all. Everyone woke up as they saw Super Saiyan 3 Goku standing there and they felt very amazed just looking at how powerful and how amazing Goku looked. Vegeta saw Super Saiyan 3 Goku and he went to Goku and said, oh, You're the best Kakarot, you're better than me. No matter what I do, I can never surpass you. Bardock came to hug Goku as everyone celebrated. Gohan meanwhile was with Supreme Kai and they both appeared to Earth but when they got there, they saw that Majin Buu was already dead as Supreme Kai was beyond impressed by Goku's strength and they told Supreme Kai that Goku is the legendary Super Saiyan. Gohan managed to go and pull out the Z sword and from there he broke it causing the old Kai to come out and he had his potential release while Goku was fighting Majin Buu. And now Gohan's power level came to be at 40 trillion as he is now the second strongest out of all the Z fighters and he's behind his father. They all went and celebrated as they had a good time and they were really happy that they went and beat Majin Buu. But little did they knew, far in the galaxy, a destroyer has now woke up as he wants to fight a Super Saiyan God and he said, Weez, show me where I can find this Super Saiyan God. Find out what happens inside the next episode my Z fans. Make sure you click the bell so you'll be the first to know when the next part of What If Goku Was Born A Legendary Super Saiyan comes out.